For those of us that commute, we'll spend over a year of our lives stuck in traffic. I think somewhere along the line, we lost that sense of freedom that we used to associate with the open road. Now, contrast that feeling of being gridlocked with the last time that you saw a bird gliding effortlessly across the water. Have you ever thought to yourself, I would really love to do that? Well, you'll be happy to hear that your flying dreams are potentially a lot closer than you think. Our team at Kitty Hawk is developing a 100% electric aircraft that anybody can learn to fly in minutes. And there's a couple key technologies that are only now making this type of aircraft possible. First is effectively the same electronics and sensors that are in your cell phone can allow us to control and stabilize eight independent rotors. With this kind of control, we can make flying as simple as playing a video game using a very similar set of joysticks. And if you go hands-free, we can have the aircraft just hover exactly in place, right where you left it. The second technology is batteries. Batteries have been advancing rapidly with electric vehicles and green energy, and we're just, we're just crossing this threshold now where they start to make sense for flight. And this is incredibly exciting for us. It opens up uh, an entirely new set of design possibilities. We can design with multiple small, lightweight electric motors in a variety of different configurations. We'll start by flying distances in the range of 15 miles or 25 kilometers. But as batteries evolve, this is going to multiply rapidly. So it's the combination of these two technologies that are allowing us to totally rethink flying to make it easier than it ever has been before. My co-lead Cameron Robertson and I are grateful for the vision of Larry Page and Sebastian Thrun setting us loose on this adventure in helping to invent the era of personal flight. On behalf of the entire team, I would like to introduce the Kitty Hawk Flyer. Thank you. Yes, this is real. For the first time uh, this week, we've unveiled the functional prototype. And by the end of this year, we'll be releasing a beautifully designed aircraft that's going to take this technology even further. At first, we'll be flying low over the water, as you saw, uh, to be as safe as possible. But as with all limits, that will only be temporary. I realize that we're not the Jetsons just yet. But this is the first step. And what you see her experiencing is this first step in a totally new type of freedom. We're on the brink of a very, very exciting future, where safe and accessible flight will be a part of our everyday lives, and where the new open road is a limitless sky. Thank you. So Todd, just to, just to get specific here, um, so, so there could be a product out next year, initially yes. just for flying over water. Yeah, we're aiming the end of this year to, to be releasing before the end of this year. And so it's, it's classified as an ultralight, which means that you really don't need like a pilot's license or anything like that. Just anyone can do this? Yeah, in, in the United States, it's a, an ultralight aircraft. It's under 254 pounds, uh, which means that technically you don't need a license. We'll be training people, uh, obviously, to be uh, as safe as possible, but you can learn to fly it so quickly. But to actually take this to you know, become your commute of choice, presumably there's a huge level of regulation and so forth that would need to get cleared before that could happen. Is that realistic? Yes, for sure. I mean, we're working with, uh, with regulatory bodies. That's a big piece of the puzzle. The whole, I mean, air travel right now is the safest form of transportation, and we definitely intend to keep it that way. And that means working with regulatory bodies to figure out every step of the way. So this is the first step that we can take, right. uh, and then we'll be progressing from there. So we can't quite 
call it a flying car because it doesn't have the car bit, right? No, you noticed I didn't use the word flying car. <laughs> <laughs> but if you can fly it to wherever you want to go, maybe you don't need that car bit. Is that the idea? Um, Oh, yeah. I mean, the, the concept of an actual car that flies, I don't think we're going to see. Cars are extremely heavy. Uh, they're designed with a lot of extra weight. Uh, what is going to be the flying cars is going to be very different. The amazing thing is that they've committed to putting one of these in every gift pack next year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank so nice. Much. Thank you. <laughs>